give you a little update on the grow room. Okay, sorry for the mess. It's a work in progress. We've done a lot of stuff in here. If you recall from a previous video, there used to be a shelf system on that far wall and there was no bed. There's a previous video of me updating, um, showing how to put the flood system into the grow bed there. This is aquaponics at work. Um, eventually I'd like to have a raft system coming out right next to this one. I'm um, going to update with four foot wide T5s. Right now just the little little itty bitty two bulbs are working fine. Growing basil, strawberries, oregano, oh what else, all sorts of stuff in here. It's been in here for about a month. Just put these basil starts in here and they were all about that size when I put them in and they've grown pretty good these I put in yesterday these I put in three days ago so they're all doing very well and I've got a cantaloupe growing ready to grab onto something I'm gonna get that out of here before it starts to flower I'm just using it to suck some nitrogen out of the water same with a lot of these other big ones this oregano was tiny when I put it in about three weeks ago and it has blown up eggplant was off to a real slow start before I switched over to aquaponics. I think it got nutrient shock, but it's coming back very nicely. Uh, strawberries are producing runners like mad. Let's see if I can find a good one. Look at this ridiculous runner. And I'm just going to let it do its job, you know, and find its own hole. I'm not going to plant it. I don't exactly know what I'm doing with strawberries yet. Wife's excited about them, though. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of those over here. Here's a basil. I'm regenerating it. It's flowering, and now it's getting green again. Uh, purple basil, uh, pur red oscillum basil, I believe. That's sweet basil. There's a couple Genovese basil. That's a nice little pointed leaf. Sweet basil. There's true purple basil over here. Real pretty plants. Anyway, I'm gonna capitalize on the basil. Each one of these holes is gonna have basil in it just starting some oregano right now. I'll probably throw that in the outside garden, doing some vines here. I'm gonna put those, pardon the light, the light sucks because of the halide, but what you gonna do? Anyhow, you're gonna be on the fence hopefully if they propagate. I'm just using this as a, you know, just an idea, seeing if it'll root, and if it does, I'm gonna put them all over the fence. Anyhow, the water goes from the fish barrel over here, which has done a complete nitrogen cycle. There are about 30 goldfish, or 30 fish altogether. I've got a couple algae eaters in there and some larger feeder fish, feeder goldfish. Water goes in, mixes, oxygen stone down there, it overflows. Here's the beginning of the filter. I've got a sponge filter in there, and then there's the gravel. It drips down in where it pumps out every 15 minutes into the grow bed. And it filters through the rocks where the bacteria converts the ammonia into nitrite, then nitri nitrate. And then it flows down in after it floods, auto siphons through my bell siphon, down into the sump where it goes into the NFT system and I want to do a trough from there to here and run it as a raft going right there and I should have more than enough space to do some commercial growing that's the that's the plan anyway so here we go nice little update on the system I'll show it to you again once we get a little taller plants Maybe fill that up a little more too. Amazing though. Three days ago, they were all just sitting down inside the pot. And now I've got some that are towering over already. I love it. This aquaponics, the, the plants grow extremely fast. It's really amazing. And it's all organic. That's the beauty of it. Eventually, I'm going to get rid of the goldfish, either throw in some catfish and prawns or crayfish, um, maybe tilapia, I don't know yet. 
I might have to replace my tank if I do any f bigger fish though. However, you can do one fish per gallon with tilapia. I could fit 40 tilapia realistically in that barrel, in that one fish barrel. But that seems a little cruel and unusual, so we'll see what happens. All right, catch you later.